morning everyone well, let's get this on the this show on the road this morning I am going to have me a little bit of this mocha coffee this morning I already had one regular coffee and I have enough in here for a second cup. Maybe even a third. And let's get some half and half in here. Having a little trouble walking this morning, but I'll push through. It's all about getting yourself up and getting yourself working and then all of a sudden all those muscles relax there we go mm-hmm nice cup of mocha coffee you guys out on the porch. Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful morning out this morning. We got a cool breeze out. It's beautiful. The sun is shining with a cool breeze. I couldn't ask for more. Mm. Let's have some coffee this morning. I got the water going behind me to water the garden. Seeds are sprouting. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. We got arugula, lettuce, spinach, celery, I got a zucchini plant that's going. Hopefully I might get a second zucchini plant. We'll see with the second planting. Um, the reason that I'm off season planting zucchini is because I'm hoping that I will get some zucchini out of it and make some zoodles. I'm looking forward to making zoodles out of my own zucchini. And so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, we got a one or two cats out this morning, but none of them are are walking up to me this morning so I don't have cat food so they don't come up to me very often mm -hmm. and the reason is because there's two or three houses that are already feeding these same cats so we want to keep them mousing <laughs> So tell me, what's the weather like where you are at? I do want to let you guys know that I am really thinking um, and praying hard for those that were hit by the hurricane. Um, that was very devastating what happened um, in the path of this last hurricane. And I just, I pray for those families. There was so much devastation and loss of lives there. And it's just, it's sad. It really is. So know if you're in that area, in that region, that you're in my daily prayers. You are.
And you have been for a while. It's so beautiful out here. I love listening to the birds. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna open my Merlin app and let's see what birds I hear. Now that was really funny. As soon as I turned on the app, the birds stopped singing. <laughs> that was funny. So that or the the recording is not picking him up. This cool breeze on my face, it feels so good. It does. Well, I do have a few things that I need to get busy on. One of them is to take my morning drive and then come back and turn the water off. And then we're going to get in the kitchen and we're going to cook me some breakfast. Because I do have plans for those fresh farm eggs today. I am looking forward to them. The flavor on those eggs is so good. All right, let's go on our morning drive. I am truly excited about this. I enjoy the morning drives in the morning. It kind of centers me and focuses me. I think I spent most of my adult life taking my morning drive to work as a time to kind of center and focus and think about, um, you know, think about things that may have happened in the last 24 hours that may have, you know, bothered myself <clears throat> and uh, I've got I'm going to share one of those with you and maybe I can y'all can help me process it I got a a message a comment down below one of my videos from someone who has been watching my videos from the start and what they said was this I really enjoyed your videos basically what they said I really enjoyed your videos up until you started this new eating plan once you started this new eating plan The food that you were preparing is gross and ugly. <laughs> and so I'm gonna unsubscribe to your channel. And I thought to myself, let me try to process this did it hurt? Yeah, that hurt. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. It hurt. And I said, I'm going to try to process this in a positive way. So I've been thinking about it for the last 24 hours. I, I found it yesterday morning, yesterday sometime. And I deleted the comments because they left the channel so it's all right but me taking the time to take care of myself upset one of my oldest viewers When my channel's all about inviting you guys in to my home and spending the day with me. That's what I want to do. I want to invite you in and have you spend the day with me. If you don't want to come in, then move on. It's all right. I don't mind. But...
leaving a negative comment on your way out, I just, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand why some people have to leave a negative comment on their way out the door. Because that's literally what you're doing is that you are saying something hurtful and rude as you're leaving my home. And I don't understand it. I guess it's because I've always been a very positive person. Like I've always seen the glass half full, okay? not half empty i mean i'm grateful to have a half full glass of water <laughs> okay i am blessed to have a roof over my head food in my belly food in my pantry i'm blessed about that and i'm blessed to be on this new eating program that is provided to me free of charge is blessing me. I'm learning new skills and hopefully in the process I am maybe answering questions along my new path. I hope that my viewers feel, I hope that you guys are blessed. Whether you are subscribed to me and watch me or not, I really hope that you are because I really do feel blessed every day. This is who I am. I'm blessed. When I get up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, I feel blessed. The very first thing I do is thank you, Lord, for another day. I, that's what I do every morning. And then I get around, whether I'm in pain or not, I get around and start moving. And I just want each and every one of you to feel welcome in my home, no matter what I'm doing for that day. I know that I spent the last 30 days learning how to prepare and get a grip and a handle on this new eating program because that's what I was doing for the last 30 days. And I'm sorry that it bothered one or two people I really am but moving forward now that I have kind of a grip on this new program I'm gonna start creating dishes out of what I have at the house now using what I have and I hope you guys stick with me and come along I needed to stick to the program for the first 30 days and figure out how to make sure that I don't go over the 30 carbs every day. That means that I've got to plan, which is something that is new to me and I know is new to you, is planning out your meals. It is, I didn't grow up doing that. My mom did not do that. But from this point on, I'm going to be doing that. And the reason is because the difference in the way I feel in the four short weeks is massive. It's working for me. And so I'm going to continue doing what's working for me because that's what's best for me. And I hope you guys come along. I really do. I did 
make plans to go to the food bank every week from this point on and keep what I can use and share what I can no longer use. And I hope you guys follow along. Not only am I going to do that, I'm going to supplement what I get from the food bank by going out to the farm and getting the best kind of foods possible for my body. And so that's how I'm going to move forward from now on. And I hope you guys come along with me. I really do. Anyway, I got it off my chest. <laughs> I'm good to go. I gave it a matter of five minutes to get it off my chest. And let's move forward with the day now. I'm done with it. That's another thing that I do. If something happens that bothers me, I dwell on it for a day. I speak to somebody, you guys, about it in a positive manner, I hope. And then I move on with I move on. I'm I'm done with it. So guys, that's what that's what we're, we're happening. That's what's happening. So let's get out here. Let's get the water. The garden has been watered. And I'm gonna show you an update on the garden while I'm out there. Okay, I'm giving you guys an update on this. You can see the oak leaf lettuce is coming up here. I don't see anything in the first two rows over here. Or in the fourth row where the romaine lettuce is. On this one, I can see some definite spinach coming up right in here right in here spinach is coming up especially and the arugula is doing very very well I see maybe one or two sprouts of the kale so we're gonna give it some some time and then here we have definitely some celery that's coming up and some Swiss chard. You can see that. That looks beautiful. Um, I do see some chives possibly coming up. And I don't know about the onions. We'll see. And then this last one, we definitely have a zucchini plant that's doing very well. We have some bok choy that's possibly coming up. And I do see a few sprigs of maybe cabbage. We'll see if that's coming up and then of course my herbs are doing very well good morning everyone all right I am getting ready to cook up the bacon for this week it is Monday and I am looking forward to this bacon and I have two trays here ready but it looks like that I might only need one. Let's see. Well, since I already have it prepared, I'll go ahead and put these last two pieces over here. And here we go. That is the bacon that I'm cooking here. This was a gift from a viewer. And so I am going to be making this. And I'll bring you back when it's ready. Hey everyone, I'm bringing you in to show you that the bacon is ready. To take it off of the of the pan, and it is definitely crispy this time. 
It is definitely crispy this time. That's my alarm to let me know that the bacon is ready. But I came in here early to check on it and it was ready. So I am gonna clean up as I go. There we go, that's a better shot of what I'm doing here. So now that the bacon has baked and it's nice and crispy, I am taking it off the, to let the grease um, let it drain. But I'm not going to waste this um, bacon fat by any means because I can use this bacon fat to cook with. bacon crispy. So, I like my bacon anyway, but that's good. All right, so now we have the bacon component to my breakfast. I am going to find me a jar to put this um, bacon grease in, and I'll bring you back when I get ready to start cooking the eggs. This is going to be my breakfast. This is two pieces of bacon. I did heat up about two teaspoons of alfredo sauce and smeared it on top of the scrambled eggs and so this is going to be my breakfast now that alfredo sauce is kind of becoming like a gravy for me because i do enjoy gravy on my eggs in the morning so that's how i'm using the low carb really low carb quote gravy which is alfredo sauce hey everyone it's that time. I have been so busy today. I got all of my housework done today and I'm really, I'm really impressed with myself on that. All right, we're going to get in here. It is four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm hungry. So we're going to get in here and do my test. Um, get everything I need out. I have enough land sets for one more day. I need to get in there and figure out when I'm supposed to be getting my shipment in. Let's get this uh, alcohol prep pad opened up and ready to go. And the machine is ready to go. My uh, glucose level was really good this morning. I should be getting the shipment in for my supplies today. <laughs> I checked twice outside and it wasn't outside yet, so. Yeah, I have one more day of supplies tomorrow. Well, it's my last glucose test strip, so. We'll see. All right. Oh. 
try by spreading. Let's do glucose first. In the test site. I want y'all to know that I have like I have spots on my fingers <laughs> where I am testing every day. I'm used to a micro needle and this is not a micro needle. Yeah. Alright, first test going in. Three, two, one, one oh seven. First test done. Put the second test in there. Here we go. Second test. Two point one. Yeah, two point one. I've been working working out today. Yep, I have been. Between the sweeping and the mopping and the vacuuming and scrubbing tubs and toilets and all that, I had a full blown workout today. So all right, I'm gonna get off of here and then we're gonna get in the kitchen and we're gonna fix me something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm bringing you guys in to show you that I am going to use this salad. It's still frozen. Remember the steak? The sirloin Philly steak? This is the last of it. The sirloin Philly steak the last of it. I'm going to cook this up. Once it starts to thaw and juice up, I'm going to add some onions into it. And I'll just show you what I'm going to do with it while that's cooking. Let me get this lettuce out. around in my house and leaving the camera on while I'm doing it. Whoops. Whoops. Alright. I'm going to back this up so you can see everything. While that's going on, while that's going on, over here, I'm going to get out my one cup measuring cup. And the lettuce that I received from the food bank. We're going to do two cups of this. Two cups of shredded lettuce that I see from the food bank. I just made a mess on the floor, of course. And what cheese am I going to use for this 
Philly cheese. Okay. Havarti or Munster? And that's what I got selected, and that's what I want to put in there. Havarti or Munster cheese? What do you guys think? Picking up this lettuce off the floor. It's, it's going to bother me if I don't. I just swept them off the floor. I think I'm going to use, I have more of it, so I'm going to use the Munster cheese. And I want a nail. My cheese. So I'm going to weigh the cheese. We're gonna see how many ounces of this cheese. How many slices makes one ounce? Two slices. So two slices of the Munster cheese is gonna go in my salad. I do enjoy a um, a variety of cheeses. I that's something I do enjoy. moved around a little bit. I'm going to use a spatula. I want a little bacon grease in there so I can saute. I'm trying not to get the. There we go. I don't want to rub that metal spoon on that on that skillet. <clears throat> A little handful of onion. dressing I think what I want to do is I want to do sour cream and and my taco sauce with a salad dressing for this
I let this sit for a minute because I don't want it hot, hot when it goes into my salad over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my kitchen shears this time. Grab these all up, and we're just gonna cut them. Into little tiny cubes. Well, not cubes, they're flat, so let's say square. There we go. All right, that's done. We're gonna throw this in there on the top of that. here where I'll be working yeah you can see the bowl all right I am going to oh. hold on a minute there we go a little different perspective because I needed to get over to get a spoon and this is a sour cream I'm working on right now get two little sticks out of it. Come on. And then I'm going to shake this sauce up. A little bit of the sauce. Not much, just enough for flavor. Smash this together, mix it together. This sour cream is quite thick. That's all right. How many of you guys lick your fingers? I do. All right. So now this is going to be a creamy dressing to go on my salad. It's a basic, simple salad. It's a basic, simple salad that I made pretty quick. I'm get some of this out and clean that spoon off. Well, I was, but let's just dig in with our fingers. Why not? Mm -hmm.
and put the sour cream in the salsa. And this, my friends, is what's going to be my lunch for today.